Hello, welcome back. In this episode, we'll convert or we'll take the steps to convert our Spring Boot based catalog microservice into a Docker container. For this, we need to make a Docker image of our catalog service. In the previous episodes, we built a Spring Boot based web application. We added some, we added a repository backing to it using MongoDB and exposed RESTful web services to manipulate those entities. Now we are porting this Spring Boot based web application into a Docker container or making it a Docker image so that it can be it can be run in a Docker container. So how do we build a Docker image of our application? It all starts with the Docker file. We created a Docker file and placed it in the root of the project. So inside the catalog service we have a text file which is called Docker file. What do we have in the Docker file? A Docker file is basically a text file with instructions to Docker on how to build the image. Here I assume that you have Docker installed on your machine. Now let's go through the contents of the Docker file instruction by instruction. The first statement in the Docker file is a from statement from, in this case, OpenJDK, JRE Alpine. Our catalog service needs two prerequisites to run. One is it should have an operating system, and two, since it's a Java-based application, it needs a JVM to execute. So we're building our image from an image with OpenJDK 8 installed on Alpine Linux, which is a lightweight and efficient Linux distribution. So here you have an Alpine Linux distribution on which you have OpenJDK 8 installed. So that is our base image on which we'll build our image of catalog service on. This image is available on the Docker Hub or the docker store as we call it now. So you can go to hub.docker.com and search for this image and you'll find it there. The next statement is a work directory statement. It is basically setting the work directory for the following commands to execute. So any of the following commands after this would execute from the context of that work directory. So we're setting the work directory to slash catalog hyphen service, which is on the on the container, inside the container or inside the image. The next statement is an arg statement, which is kind of an optional statement here, but it basically takes the version up uh, an argument by name version. We'll use that version argument in the next instruction. The next one is an add command. An add command basically copies a file from one location to another. In this case, it copies our catalog services jar file from our host into the image at this location inside the work directory. Here is where we use the version argument. It is provided so that you can install or copy any version of the catalog service jar into your image. If no value is provided, it will default to 1.0.0.release. The next statement is the command. It basically instructs Docker which command to execute when the Docker container starts. In this case, we are instructing Docker to execute the Java command and run the main class from catalog service.jar. These are all the 
instructions that we want to pass to Docker to create the image. Now let's go ahead and build the Docker image from the Docker file. For this, let's go to the command prompt and change directory into the folder where our project is available. Now, we need to make sure that the project is built before we go ahead and build the image out of it. So we do a gradle build. So the project is successfully built. Let's verify that we have the right jar created in the folder that we expect it to be, which is build slash libs. So we're going to build libs. And you can see that the catalog service fn1.o.o.release.jar is available there so that it can be copied over to the image. So now let's go ahead and build the Docker image. We run the command docker build to build the image. We pass the argument tag to name the docker image. So let's name the docker image as catalog service itself and the doc and the location of the docker file, which is in this case the current folder. You can see that the docker build command executed the commands from the docker file and copied over the jar into the image and set the command instructions appropriately. If I were running this command for the first time, you could also see the images, the from images being downloaded from the docker hub. So we've successfully built this image. Now let's verify if the image has been built. The docker images command lists down all the images I have installed in my local. So here you can see that the catalog service image is built. It has a size of 128 MB. Okay, so that completes this exercise wherein we created a docker image of our catalog microservice. Stay tuned for the next episode wherein we'll run our catalog microservice as a Docker container. Thanks for watching.